In this video, we'll demonstrate how to create a class and what to do with that class once you've created it. I'm logged in and I'll go up to classes on the top right nav bar. From here, I can select create class over on the right. Give your class a name, create class. So my class is created, I've been given a class code. From here I have two options to add students. They can join with the class code or I can add them manually. I'll show this in a split screen. On the left is the moderator view I was already in. On the right I have a blank Frankenstories login which I'll use for the student view. We'll start with the class code. For the class code I can create a new account as a student and join this class. So I'll copy that code. I'll go to sign up because I'm creating a new account, select I'm a student, input that class code, add my name. For student privacy reasons, we only accept the last initial and you don't have to include that if you don't want to. This is just so you can identify the student when you're using Frankenstories. Accept the terms and conditions and then create student account. Now I've been given a student login code. I can use this student login code to log in each time the student wants to use Frankenstories. Back on the left hand side, I can go and add students manually. I've added some names and I'll select add students. Here I've been given more student codes, which those students can use to log in. And I say log in rather than sign up because these accounts have already been created. They've been given now a login code. If you want to print these codes to make them easier to find later on, you can print them out here. We've heard that teachers like to paste these up on the wall somewhere in the classroom to make them easy to find. If I go back to my class, here I can see the student that created their own account using the class code is already in my class. I'll show you what happens if a student's logged out. They can simply go to login, select I'm a student, copy that student code, add the student code and log in. And now we've got a class, I'll show you what you can do with it. We'll go to Games, Create, Create New. Frankenstories will automatically generate a prompt for you. All these items are customizable, but for the moment we'll just click through. I'll name my game, just name it so you can find it easily later on. Then go to Create. Now I have the option to assign homework or assign to a class. I'll start by assigning to a class. I'll select the class I created earlier and I can assign to the whole class or I can assign to teams within that class. I'll show you teams. I'll split my class into two teams. Frankenstories has now split my class into two randomly generated teams. I can rename the title of these teams and I can also switch players by using this icon. So I can pick this player up here and move this player here. Then select assign game. And you can see on the right that in my student view, this game has appeared. When that student is ready to play, they select the game. The student is now able to select their avatar there in the game lobby. Back to the moderator view, I can see that my two games have appeared here. There's two games because you split your class into two. I'll select those games here. I can start the games individually by selecting either one of these two icons. Alternatively, I can play them simultaneously. I select both games and then up the top, moderate two games. This is our multi-moderate feature. You can see along the top, there's two tabs showing the two different games. We've got game one and on the right, game two. We can see this student, as we're showing on the right hand side, has joined this game. One thing that's worth noting here is that by using a class, I can use both the alias name and the real name. As part of our default features, students are given an alias name. You can switch this off if you like, but the benefit to creating a class is that students only see the alias name, but you as the moderator or the host will see both the alias name and the student's real name. This is helpful for knowing which student wrote which snippet each round. There's a lot of things you can do with classes, but there's one more thing in particular I'll show you. Here I am in an account which has a lot of activity. I'll show you one of the classes. Here we can see the class list. From here I can go to old games by seeing reports, but I can also go to class portfolio. 
this shows me a sample of my entire class, so I can select this student here. What this does is gives you a portfolio of the student's work to help you if you were trying to assess the student's performance later on. It might even be helpful for a parent-teacher interview. So there we are. That's a quick example of how to create a class and some of the things you can do when you've created it.